Adam 22 revealed for some reason. Don't know why he revealed this. He just revealed it just because he wanted to. That Yuri owes Blasi money. <laughs> yeah, Yuri. Yuri, the guy that was like dunking on fans, talking about how everyone's broke, saying that he's going to buy a house, just acting like he's the fucking biggest fucking streamer in the world right out here, right? Because he had one fucking couple of good fucking subathons and he wasted all that money on weed anyway. And then towards the end of the subathon, it was funny because if you watch um, Yuri and Riley streaming on kick while they were doing it, towards the beginning of the subathon, they were staying in like these big Airbnbs like with bare space. Yuri was on one wing, Riley was sleeping on another wing. And by towards the end of the fucking subathon, the, the crib started to get smaller and smaller and smaller until it was just a room with you and you can see Riley's feet in, on the corner of the fucking screen because they ran out of money they blew all the money on fucking Airbnbs and on fucking weed so anyway we all knew that Yuri wasn't as rich as he said he was which doesn't matter anyway but he was one bragging about it and Adam22 for some reason gets on stream and just airs out Yuri and in the process always also airs out Blasi and he reveals that Blasi told him that Yuri's broke or that Yuri owes him money. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Adam 22 fucking over somebody. Can you imagine? Who would have thought that? None of us can't purchase houses? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, okay, probably the worst, like even the news when it's at, when it was at its lowest. Yeah. It was probably like 2,000 people watching it, right? Of course, yeah. You know, maybe like five, 6,000 was like a, a real good day or whatever. The, yeah. the Jumper Show probably averaged like five, 6K, whatever. He's on stream every day with like 100 people watching. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? You think we're fucking blind and retarded that we're going to actually believe this? I mean, you are a stalker, so I guess you One thing I've also noticed, by the way, I don't know, you know, watching a lot of Adam online, I get the feeling Adam doesn't like Yuri. Like, to his core, he doesn't respect him as a man, as a human. He looks at him like, you're a bum. Like, I, I think there's a lot more venom in his voice when he, which is odd, again, listen... Maybe I'm being too fucking, you know, what's that thing called that all the podcasts are saying? Maybe I'm being too parasocial. Maybe I'm looking into it too deeply. But I get the feeling that Adam does not like Yuri at all. So when he hears Yuri talking about him, it's almost like offensive. He's like, bro, I know you. I know you don't shower. I know you wear the same t-shirt four days in a row. Do you know what I mean? I know you. I know you don't have money. I know you ask your friends for free weed because you can't don't have money to afford it. Like he's he he does not respect him as a human. So I get a lot more venom in his voice when he talks about him. Maybe it's just me, but I just feel it in my bones. Kind of lost uh, sight of reality and everything like that. But like, and also let's talk about um, the podcast that they started together. Remember when they were acting like that was going to be some big breadwinner? Yeah. The- are you talking? Are you referring to? He owes Blasi <laughs> money for the taxes on the LLC. You see how, like, bad that was, the jump. Because he starts talking about Yuri, and for some reason, he just airs out the entire podcast, Biggest Bros Reconnected. What is that? What does Yuri's situation with taxes, with Blasi, have to do with him anyway? Why is he talking about this? If you've got a problem with Yuri because he's talking about you and your wife, or he's talking about you and your staff members, you and your company, cool. Go bar for bar with him about his show. Oh, your show on Kick sucks. You don't get many live viewers. You don't get no donations. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you airing out the fact that he owes somebody else money? What does that have to do with you? That's such a scumbag thing to do. It's like, it's almost impossible to root for anybody in in No Jumper Universe stuff. It's almost impossible. Watch the shit show from afar. But no one in this is an angel. Whether it's the guys on Fig Community whether it's the guys on Back on Fig, whether it's the guys on fucking Community, whether it's the guys on Ace Boys, they're all pieces of shit, categorically. Everyone in that universe is a piece of shit. No one comes out of this world. Everyone is a consummate piece of shit. But it's good, but it's... No, it's good. It's annoying because I think some of them think they're the heroes of their story. Some of them don't realise they're villains. (laughs) That's the funny thing about it. Some of them don't realise they're actually villains. They all think they're fucking great. But these guys are terrible. They would all sell each other under down the river for a fucking view. For a donation. For a super chat. They would they would stab each other in the back 
for anything. It's horrible. It's almost horrible, but it's great to watch. Really? They're in the red for the year on that podcast. I hate saying that because Blasi probably don't want me to say it. But, bro, really? Be serious. The reason why you can't buy a house is because you owe Blasi all this fucking money and you own weed. What I had yeah, the. Could you imagine how embarrassing that has to be for Blasi? How embarrassing that has to be for Yuri? Now, let's not get away from the main point. Why is Blasi talking about his issues monetary with other people that aren't Yuri? Number one. Number two, why is he talking to it to anybody that could get the information back to Adam when he knows Adam and Yuri have beef? Number two. But overall, why is Adam talking about it? What does Adam's beef with Yuri have to do with Blasi's taxes? Nothing. But he's just being messy. He's being a cunt. He's being what people like to describe him as a sociopath. I don't think he's a sociopath. I just think he's a cunt. But I also think it's almost impressive. That's the thing I, I'm okay with. And I think I'm going to run with this until the day that I croak over on fucking stream. Because I most likely will because I don't go outside. I don't mind people who are unapologetically themselves for better or worse. And Adam is a cunt to the capital C. But he doesn't try to be anything else. Think about it. He's very consistent. He fucks over people. That's what he does. He fucks you over. He never says sorry. He never acknowledges what he does. And just keeps on moving. But the benefit, the really interesting thing about this guy. He always keeps people around him. He never lies. I don't think so personally. About who he is. He is exactly who he is on the camera behind the scene. I don't believe in this whole like, oh, he's like really nice behind. No, you're not. We've seen what you are like in front of the camera. How you are is what you're probably like behind the scenes. Probably worse. And people still can't get enough of this guy. Case in point, that fucking mongoloid with no neck over here. Lush one. The beef that they had, the things that Adam said about him, the things that Lush said about him, Look where he is. Flacco, another one. Flacco has his own popping channel. Poe Flacco does pretty well by himself. But there he is, sitting down with a white man. So there's something about Adam. Whether it's the clout, whether it's the fame, the money. I don't know what it is. People just can't get enough of this guy. Blasi being a good example of it. Blasi's working on a station, on a channel, reconnected. With three people that he works with who have real, who, not real, who have beef with Adam 22 House Phone, Potlord, and Yuri. Yet he still goes and talks to him about his personal business with fucking um, Yuri. Why would you do that? Three of your friends, three of the four co hosts on that show, don't like Adam 22 and would never sit down with him. Yet he feels comfortable enough to talk to one of them, to talk to him directly about Yuri's fucking taxes. Mind numbingly stupid and redacted and mind-lumbingly stupid and redacted but we commence we commence we commence <sighs> of course this get, this gets back to blasi this gets back to the reconnected boys and it's interesting because reconnected this past day had the weirdest vibe in the beginning it was very tense it was very awkward you can tell they had a conversation that didn't go too well but the sad thing was, they had probably one of the most anticipated guests ever in Ars Pisa on the show. Ars Pisa is a very well-known illustrator, designer, all-round creative dude within the street where you kind of say scene. Um, I've known him for him for a while. Um, he's kind of famous for doing all the box logo, you know, the 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 fake Supreme collaboration with the box logos. Um, he paints on his jeans. He does these Nikes that he puts out and shit. He's a really cool, like, creative kind of dude. I think so overall. Um, I remember actually when I was working at one art company, um, I actually sent him some stuff. So I, I, I spoke to him back in the day. It must have been on Instagram, maybe on Facebook. I forgot when it was. Long, long time ago. And that company I was working for, I sent him some pens and markers and stuff that he used, but obviously he didn't shout me out the fucking cunt. But I sent him all over to him. So he's a good guy. And he's very anticipated on reconnected because um yuri is one of the biggest fans of ars pieces designs and all those guys kind of love him because he's been you know he's been at the center of culture in that world for a long time you might know him because iconic he's got an iconic moment where he had where he's the one fighting i think he fight is it does he fight um who's he fight does he fight playboy carty is that him in that video 
there's an iconic video with him, Ian Connor, and some kitchen somewhere. I don't know if Aspice is there. Anyway, whatever it may be. He's a very anticipated guest. And the moment he comes on, they have this thing they have to talk about, right? Which is Adam22 airing out the fact that Blousey told him that Yuri owes him some money for taxes. And the pod starts off incredibly tense. It's very tense at the beginning, which is sad because the rest of the show was pretty good. But still, the interview could not could have been a bit better if they were all in a good mood. In this particular clip, you have to look at Blasio weird because this is the second time he's done something like this. The first time was him going on No Jump in the first place and sitting down with Comparator and Lush One. Why are you doing that if you know what House One situation is? And you know what, Yuri doesn't like that guy. And he's going, like, why are you sitting down? Why? Why? He did it anyway. Oh, I asked House One permission. Of course you asked him. He's not going to say no, though, is he? Like, who's going to want to admit that they have, like, whatever. So just listen to what Blasi says and how he tries to explain what happened. Of course. What? <laughs> you know, and like, dude, prior to, like, because now I'm like two years with the training wheels doing podcasting every Thursday. Like, yeah. I talk too much. Mm-hmm. It's gone to that point. Clearly, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Big up house one. Big up house one. Clearly we know. Big up house one. And I also got the feeling Potlord wasn't too happy as well this conversation. Potlord was almost, I don't say mean mugging um, Blasey, but he was div- definitely giving off vibes that he wasn't happy. Because I think Potlord was really pissed off that Blasey went on the jumper. Maybe more so than Yuri. Which is funny because didn't Potlord, you know, say something wild about Yuri's dead sister or something. So it's funny that he's like, you know, in this mood, but it was a very tense conversation. Let's get this. And I also love the symbolism, right? All three of Adam 22's ops who would never sit down with him and Blasey. Uh, we know you talked yeah. to him. Uh, yeah. We know, game. All right, so we know. let me get into it. You know uh, I mean, you, I, I didn't mean to like, oh, you no, know, redirect. Yeah, I didn't mean to yeah. redirect your... Hey, yo, Big up Astro. I didn't know that. Okay, I haven't finished the episode yet. I'm about halfway through. It's a really good interview after after it, but um, Astro says he barely said anything the whole pod. Yeah, I got the feeling. Potlood wasn't happy. He was really, he was kind of mean, like, behind those shades. He was like, all angry face. I wanted to save the viewers some time to, you know, hear about yeah. ass pizza. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I just want to properly Look at Yuri. introduce him before we talk about bullshit. You know what I mean? Thanks. But um, what, I, what I do got to uh, let the chat know is like, you know, I made a mistake, you know, uh, I had a private conversation with this fool Adam uh-huh. around like a month ago okay. and he was asking me, how's all the podcasting thing going on? Yep. And I was telling him like, bro, like, honestly, there ain't really much money into it. We owe taxes. Yeah. Now this is a conversation I would have had with t Rail, with my assistant, anyone. I just homies. Adam 22 isn't your homie. Number one. He's not your homie. He's not. Maybe it's an LA thing. Maybe it's a, this is an LA friendship. But he's not your homie. Number one. Number two. Don't you? Don't your friends don't like? I don't know. Again, maybe maybe I don't want to. Maybe we're overanalyzing this. But surely, maybe you don't need to hate all your friends. Fr- maybe you don't need to hate all the people that your friends hate. We're not going that far. But at the very least. You don't invite them to your birthday party. Maybe you don't hate them. You're not going to run away from them. You see them on the street. You're not going to mean mug them, uh, you know, from across the fucking aisle in the fucking supermarket. But because your friend doesn't like that person, maybe you're not going to overly share details about certain things. Just as a common courtesy. You don't have to hate them because your friend doesn't like them. But surely divulging business detail, what, because you run a business and he does too, that you've got, you got this like business bromance, this business like loyalty, this business brotherhood. Why are you telling Adam 22 about the taxes that you owe us? Like, why? Why, why? why is that even a conversation that needs to be said to anybody outside of that room anyway? Who needs to know about this? Who really does need to know about this? Your financial advisor, your accountant, maybe your mum. But who else at that room needs to know about this? No one. Why are you sharing it? You fucked again. Lack of accountability, lack of anything. Just, oh yeah, I share he like, whatever. Let's continue. I made that mistake. I think that the last two years, I always thought that Adam held me to a different, and this was very stupid of me because you know, exactly. I'm glad he said that. I'm glad when he said that he caught himself. He's about to say, "I thought I was different." This is the one thing that I really do give fucking added academics credit for. Because he kind of did open my eyes with this. I'm a big Neurorium Moore fan. Uh, my heart was broken when 
wrote Joe Budden fucking ended it with those guys because I was too emotionally involved in that podcast. I had a real parasocial relationship with those people, and I really did see them as like, oh my god, man, they're t- they- that's what friends are about. They're going together. They're doing. They're being anti-industry. They're for the creators. He's gonna bring up his friends. They're all gonna be millionaires together. I was rooting for them, and in the end, you know, it was just Joe wanting to be the star of the show, right? And he just fucked up his friends. Cool. But academics made a really good point. Even though he hates New Warrior more, even though he hates them, he calls them Mealy more and no, what's that, Warrior, whatever he calls him. He made a great point. He said to those guys, why did you guys think you were different? Joe fucks over everybody in business. Why did you guys think you were special, you dummies? You were naive. You were du- he also used some more you know, insulting words. But academics made that point and I was like, you know what? He's got a point. Rory and Moore were too naive. They did go into business with Job too trusting. They thought they were special. They thought they were above getting getting fucked over. And Joe reminded them, no, I'm gonna I'm always gonna be Joe Budden and you guys are always gonna be you. But um it's my show, it's my name on it. You don't see the accounting. Go fuck yourself. And they did. They had to go fuck themselves. So in this particular scenario, Adam is always Adam. How could you believe you will be different? Adam fucked over house fun. Do, do you guys not remember the how this house phone situation should have been the alarm bell for everybody that's an actual friend of his and he still let some um trans person get on the show and essentially you know expose him without him wanting to without it being one him wanting it to be exposed about what went down with them and left it in the podcast and didn't edit it out that's his friend if he can do that to his friend and not bat an eyelid and then act like he didn't do anything wrong, and then try and act like he paid for his mum's funeral on air. <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do to you? No, here we are right now. But I always thought that he would have some form of level of respect, and I was always confused of why he never came at me or like did me yes. dirty. Because you never spoke to him. Blasi's a Blasi's an idiot. You never spoke to him at length, and you never gave him information that he could use to dunk on your friends because you spoke about things that didn't involve your friends don't get me wrong i'm not i'm not the best person to judge this thing because i don't have a lot of real life friends as i say ad nauseum but it's the truth so i can't really give my i can't really give an accurate or a fair assessment on this sort of stuff because i don't talk to anybody about anything but 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 surely if you're Blasi, if you're Pot Lord, if you're Yuri, you you have to feel a way that Blasi's having these like on the side conversations with Adam Twenty Two when you don't like him. I know you're not allowed to admit these type because most people, if somebody asks you a question, "Hey, I'm gonna hang out with your mortal enemy," are you alright with that? Most people, especially men, we've got too much pride. We're not gonna say no, don't hang out with them because that's kind of bitch made. You don't want to sound like a bitch, so you're gonna be like, "No, that's cool," but deep down you're pissed. But a real friend won't even ask you because they know you don't like them. So they're not even going to ask you if they can go. They just won't go. That's what a real friend will do. So the fact that he was even be talking to Adam 22, if I'm house phone or Blas or Potlord or Yuri, I'm looking at him like... You're anything like that, you, you feel gotta, me? You don't got to like... You can you can just keep it kind of like... Kind of kind of concise because like there's probably a lot of people that don't even know what you're talking about he probably doesn't even know what you're talking about so like Absolutely. He's that's what I'm saying. Right so just, yeah, okay. just keep it a little okay, okay. okay. Just keep it a well, little I just want to say good, a private you, you know it was just one of those things where I thought I could trust somebody having a private conversation mm-hmm. and it wasn't going to be used so you against talked to Adam yes so you talked to Adam he, you so, thought you could trust him yes okay yeah thank thank God thank God for Assad thank God for Assad when he's not insulting me he always comes through the fucking gems. Thank you for pointing it out because you said it way more succinctly than I could ever say it. As homies, growing up, if a friend didn't like someone, um, we didn't mess with him either. It's almost unspoken. Exactly. There we go. Thank you. You said it because as men, we know how hard it is to admit your feelings and to admit you're hurt about something or to admit you don't want someone to talk about something. So you don't even want to put your friend in that position. You don't want to put your friend in a position of awkwardness where they have to admit in 4K that they have a problem with somebody. Because if you have a problem, that means you're thinking about them. If you're thinking about them, that means you let them get to them. You're pussy, you're gay, blah, 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 blah. So as a real friend, you just go with the fucking common sense. Like, yeah, okay. If if that guy doesn't fuck with you, we don't fuck with you. It's out. Until you're, until you're cool, then we're all cool again. But until they're cool with you, I'm not cool with you. 
No words have to be exchanged. It's just, it's just as Assad said, it's just unspoken. He said some shit. He, he fucking sh- have he said, said some private shit about business that I mentioned to him on a podcast earlier today, uh, where he was just trying to like, trying to like just bash Yuri. You know what I'm he was saying? Trying to shit he, on he Yuri. He got some personal vendetta, but uh-huh. I. Had- Adam's been trying to shit on Yuri since the moment that you left No Jumper. Yuri tried to act like he was at No Jumper was holding him back as if he was doing some revolutionary thing by sitting down streaming smoky weed on stream most of the time and doing shitty fucking IRL streams where he's annoying people and whatever and trying to be a horrible budget shit version of fucking Ice Poseidon. Yuri's at his best when he's being himself. When he tries to do the Ice Poseidon thing, it's fucking infuriating, but whatever. He was letting his nuts hang, which he should, fair play. Adam replied back. They've been on in an ongoing beef since then. Some stuff has been said about Lena. Some stuff has been said about Riley. They've all flung mad at each other. No one's here as a victim. But the central thing is that Adam and Yuri clearly don't get along. They don't like each other. Maybe it's not that deep, but they don't like each other. Why is Blasi talking to Adam about Yuri's business? That's all that needs to be asked as a question. Why is Blasi talking about Adam talking to Adam about Yuri's business. Why? Why? Had never been used as a pawn in his game. That's his that's his thing. Yeah. That's his MO. He's yeah. used he's used everyone in front of me on that regard. Yeah. And I always thought myself to be kind of immune from that experience, but today I learned once I got the phone with Yuri. <laughs> Honestly, what does Adam have? This is why sometimes I think to myself, like, maybe the main thing that I fucked up with with the no friends thing. It's just I didn't make enough money growing up. I didn't get, I didn't become famous super young. Because I think if I was famous and rich super young, it wouldn't matter what I'm like as a human being or how I, people just want to come next to you anyway. Just want to suck you off anyway. Even if you don't give them anything back, you don't reply, you leave them on red, you ghost them, they just keep coming after you because you have clout and like, they just turn a blind eye to how much of a piece of shit you are because you have fame. Like, why why do these people they don't seem to let fucking adam go like he's made his case clear he's very clear about who he is just let him be on that side you do your like that's the thing that was so good about reconnected for a while when all the split happened they just kept podding they kept talking about what they talk about streetwear music new rappers detroit rap memphis rap you know stuff they saw online that was it now suddenly they're getting involved in the drama because of Adam. He's almost Adam is kind of like a moth to a flame, in it. They just can't help it. They just <gasps> Yuri, you know which you know Yuri. I apologize before and I apologize now. No, I Me and him fall all this fool. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not yeah. fucking with Ooh, that because Blasi, you know, Blasi the bad boy. Bl- look what Blasi did. You should have unfollowed him the moment Yuri let it known that he doesn't fuck with fucking Adam. Not that it matters. Not that I'm following is any kind of sign of whatever. These guys are fucking redacts for saying that anyway. It's kind of bitch made to even admit that. Oh, I unfollowed him as if like it's some sort of fucking thing that you did. You should not have been fucking with the guy from the minute Yuri had a problem with him. Or from the moment everyone left No Jumper. Why are you still following that guy if everyone's all left and you all got this new show? Why? I unfollowed that fool. But today I learned once I got the phone with Yuri, you know, which, you know, Yuri, I apologize before and i apologize now no, I me and him follow this fool you know what i'm saying like i'm not yeah. fucking with that because you know one th- one thing i always made clear it's like hey i'm not here to fucking cause drama like there's no money in that mm-hmm. you know i mean maybe if i had a channel maybe if there was a way i could like a box. chat come on let's run it up you know make yeah. a shirt out of it put fucking yeah. yuri up but you know that's not my that's not what i was about it doesn't matter you can't you can't engage in messy shit and then get on your pod and try and act like you're on your high horse and act like you're above it you're not above it because you're talking about your good friend and your co-host and your business partner's business to somebody that he counts as an op. It's a bit lame to say that, but that's who Yuri thinks Adam is. Adam is, is your op and you're talking about his business, primarily the money that he owes you to somebody that's not even like, what are you doing? You can't then now act like you're above the drama. You are the fucking drama. You cause the issues. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, 
<laughs> that, that's the most unattractive thing to me. The, it's just chaos, especially when it's, when it's regarding shit that don't even got nothing to do with me and I'm becoming like a pawn in someone's game. So, yeah. you know, I, yeah, that shit ain't cool. You know, I thought I could be on some Kumbaya shit a couple months ago where it's like pull up, talk to him. I always use my honesty in the room as like leverage to be like, you could trust me. I'm being who I am. Yeah. But I've learned that like, no, everyone's susceptible to that type of game when it comes to Adam. Oh, no, nah. well. I don't respect it. I don't respect it. Big up Z. Z made a good point in the chat, but I don't respect it and I don't agree. Because I, I don't know about you. I mean, again, this is more of my fucking bitterness and lack of being able to forgive coming out here. But I'm sorry. You got three victims here. Three victims right in front of you here of Adam 22. Three victims. He had to learn himself to figure out that Adam isn't to be trusted. You had to wait until House Phone got burned, Pot Lord got burned, Yuri got burned, and then you got burned before you learned your lesson. What's the common denominator here? Adam 22. Is he consistent with who he is? Yes. Can you judge him for that? No. So you have to wait to get everybody to get burned, and then you get burned, and you're like, oh, yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe Z's right. Maybe that's how most people learn, but... I'm even talking about it, it's making me angry. That's I think that's why I don't have friends because I can't put up with this stuff. You have to, you had to like, and now you're trying to come back to me on some like, oh yeah, now I know. Okay, now you know. You go know by yourself. Go know outside. Go know in your own house. Like, go go know on your own phone. Like what? You had to learn that. That's how you had to figure out. Oh, Adam isn't to be trusted. Maybe no one is to be trusted with business information that doesn't concern your fucking business. Why are you, honestly, why would you talk to, fucking hell. But, but, to be fair, to be fair to, to Blasey, to be fair to Blasey, to be fair to Blasey, to give Blasey some grace. Yuri was giving it the big boy talk earlier on when he said he was going to buy a house. Yuri said him and Riley were thinking of buying a house, which is insane, right? These people who couldn't stand each other in a fucking two-bedroom apartment, they were tearing each other apart, they would go out on stream and be arguing and being a mess. Somehow they want a house. You saw how messy that house was, that room was. Yuri hardly washes. I can't imagine what, what state that house would be in. It will probably turn into a trap overnight. If you're Blasey and this motherfucker owes you taxes, because allegedly the rumor is that they've got an LLC, everyone's name's on the LLC, and they pay taxes, right? Because they've run this business together. And I guess Yuri didn't pay his share of the taxes so i'm guessing blasey paid it for him but yuri still owes blasey that money for the taxes so imagine if you're blasey and this guy owes you a couple bands 10 bands and he's on stream talking about buying a house <laughs> maybe that's why he had to tell someone he, i have to get off my chest man this motherfucker is smoking all my free weed and he wants by to be fair anyway, to be fair as well, to give Blasey another bit of grace here. I've said on the stream here, I don't think Blasey likes Yuri anyway. He's not I don't think he likes him that much. I have a feeling ever since all that stuff with you Riley online, because I think he called Yuri a couple of times on stream to get him to calm down. He wouldn't listen and shit. I don't think he respects Yuri because of how he treats Riley on stream. There's something about him, like he's got that kind of, you know, gentleman almost like, you know toxic masculinity stuff about how he how women don't talk masculinity but he's got this certain thing about women and how they should be treated and shit so i think when he sees yuri how she's riley it really gets to him you know there's some guys in your social group i don't know if you guys have seen this but there are some guys in your social group who will just turn the other way when you're arguing with your fucking missus or just pretend they can't hear it where there's some guys will leave the room they just can't be around it like nah they don't want to do you know what i mean they, they'll lose respect for you if they see you kind of raising your voice to your girl i think Blasey to give him grace as well those type of people so I don't think he fucks with you anyway so this might explain why he let it leak but even with that being said don't tell fucking Adam 22 about your business if your friends don't like him but you know whatever whatever what the fuck do I know I don't know jack shit then we got one another clip here we got another clip here we got another clip here we got another clip here Riley, Riley playing the victim. Sorry, Yuri playing the victim. Not Riley, Yuri playing the victim. Listen to Yuri <clears throat> act as if he didn't bring this upon himself. Act like he wasn't singing the mud too. 
this is one of the personality traits that I hate the most. I hate the most when people mudsling, when people chat shit, and then they get and then they try and play the victim. I hate them more than people that are surprised when they get the violence. Those are probably second. The ones that's like, oh, you chat shit. The person punches. Like, oh, I was just speaking my mind. It's like, yeah, but I don't speak. I like to, you know, some people don't like to argue. Some people like to do violence. And the ones that like to argue always are surprised when they get punched in the face. It's like, oh, I, I didn't know you could get punched in the face for saying words. It's like, yeah, motherfucker. Not everyone likes to argue. So those people are only second on the list to people who throw stones and then hide their hands. I hate that shit. You know? Yeah, exactly. And that's like one thing I told Blasey like a long time ago is like, oh, you, like I don't want to ever tell Blasey you can't fuck with this person or yeah, don't talk sure. to this person. Like I'm not, you're, you, you know, I'm not gonna be in control of who you, what you do in your life. You but you should have. Like uh, the fact that he's like trying to use private conversations to weaponize certain things yeah. like, and and uh, portrayed in a certain narrative that makes me look crazy or some shit like that. It's kind of insane. It's like this whole past two three months i've just been every time i have to talk oh, about this i'm like one more time, one more time, one more time, narrative that's you know yeah exactly and that's like one thing i told blasey like a long time ago is like oh you, like i don't want to ever tell blasey you can't fuck with this person or yeah, don't talk sure. to this person like i'm not you're you know i'm not gonna be in control of who you what you do in your life but like uh the fact that he's like trying to use private conversations to weaponize certain things yeah. like, and and uh portrayed in a certain narrative that makes me look crazy or some shit like that it's kind of insane it's like this whole past Two three months, I've just been. Every time I have to talk about this, I'm like clearing up some weird narrative that's coming from that camp constantly. Yeah. It's just like forty of them, like at this point, you know, the past three months. No motherfucker, you talk shit about them. They talk shit about you back. That's what you guys do as content. No, nobody really enjoys it, but you guys seem to enjoy it. Or no, people that do enjoy it on the Reddit subreddit, the No Jumper subreddit guys. Big up you guys over there. You fucking those guys are the goats. They fucking destroyed or made this actual place all fun anyway. The no, no, no jumper verse, but I hate this type of response. Yuri does say as much shit about those guys they say about him. He's spoken about fucking you know what's his name, Lush having a crack baby. He's spoken ill about Lena and her line of work. Spoken ill about Adam and his line of work about their finances. As much as they sling mud at him, he slings mud back. You can't play the victim. We've seen your stuff that you said. It's on tape. It's on video. Like people can dig up evidence of you saying shit to them. Even if it's in reply, you say stuff back. You don't just keep quiet and, and ignore it. You say stuff back. I'm sorry. If you say something back, someone's going to say, this is the drama, you know, economy they live in. So this playing the victim thing is dumb. Um, quickly going over to the chat here. Big up Warren. Big up Warren Keener. And big up my guy Coyle, of course. Um, I ain't the third will on any arguments. Yeah. <sighs> I'm probably the same. I'll make my excuses and leave. I know some people like to just pretend they, don't, they can't hear it, but I'll probably make my excuses and just leave or just not make an excuse and just French exit the thing. But yeah, I'm not with the whole like standing around when like your boys or your friends are having like arguments with their spouses. I don't enjoy that energy. No, thank you. Because usually it's not a big deal, usually, but it sounds really hard to listen to because, you know, it just sounds difficult, you know, to listen to. Um, Big up Warren. If the LLC is paying people before... If the LLC is paying people before it withholds its own taxes and then asking them for money back, that's just stupid. No, I agree with you. But I think the the logical response or the reason why they did that, I would assume, again, don't hold me on this. I don't know nothing about the business. But I would assume, because Blasey is the one that has a legit business where he, he does like um, merch and advertising and branding and marketing and design. He's got his own brand and stuff. He has his own office, whatever. Because he's got more business experience, I'm assuming Blasey, he's the one that filed for the LLC of Biggest Bros. So when he filed for the LLC, maybe he put his bank details or something on there or something, whatever it may be. And then when, the came, it, when it came around time to pay taxes, like a homie, he just said, fuck it, I'll pay. I'll just get it out of the way now. And then these guys can just pay me back. That's what I'm assuming happened, right? But obviously, of the three, two have only paid him back. <laughs> and the one that hasn't paid him back is the one that's also complete. This is the thing about thing. You guys need, need to pay attention. Wasn't Yuri the other day complaining about the free weed? About how, like, d doesn't this explain a lot? Remember when Pot Blasey got really angry that Yuri was on stream talking about Blasey's weed being shit? He's like, bro, I give you free weed. You don't even have money to buy your own weed and you're complaining about how the, the quality of the fucking weed. So this makes a lot of sense. 
why they were like a bit on him on that regard. So um, I think that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know if that Assad again with a fucking truth bomb. Is it not embarrassing to talk about things like this with an established designer like Ars Pizza sitting across from me? It's incredibly embarrassing. To their, to their credit though, to their credit, I've watched about halfway through the fucking stream, about through the pod, and they did bring this up within the first five minutes and then they left it alone. So big up them because I think Ars Pizza was also fucking confused. He's like, what the fuck's going on? Like, what? So credit to them they got it out of the way and then they moved on personally i would have just avoided talking about it but because there's so much tension in the room like you could tell they were just they were talking about it before they got on camera pot lord was pissed the entire time he was not saying a certain word yuri looked very uncomfortable um bloody was trying to make jokes and lighten the room but it wasn't working either so clearly there was an issue so they kind of spoke about it and they kind of got out of the way but again what's up what i said is true you know Maybe when you have Ask Peace on the show, maybe try and reschedule or just shut up about it, innit? Because, you know, it's just unnecessary. But what could you do? What can you do? Um, And then on top of that, we've got another clip here that features Adam22 response. You want to hear Adam22 responding? Adam22 responded to what Blasey said. And this is even way more funny because in this particular clip, Adam does what he always does and doesn't take any accountability. But he also reveals an interesting part of this whole fucking drama. Blasey wasn't even the one that told him about the taxes thing. (laughs) To make it worse, allegedly, according to Adam22, Blasey told somebody else in the No Jump head office who then told Adam. So it's not like Blasey's just pillow, is not CEO of pillow talking. No, Blasey's pillow talking to everybody about Yuri's business dealings with him. What a terrible human Blasey is, actually, in his own way. Fucking hell. In a clip of Blasey being real mad because I uh, exposed the fact. Yo, yo, Wagwan Ricky Pitcher, Wagwan Ricky Pitcher. That Biggest Bros is in debt and that Yuri owes him money for taxes or whatever. And, and Blasey lied in the clip and said that he told me that in confidence and that I wasn't supposed to say anything. Blasey, you didn't even tell me that. You told somebody else that and they told me. So I didn't know that that was private information. So I apologize, you know, if, if that was shit that you didn't want to be out there or anything like that. But overall, I mean, this is the problem, Blasey, when you start businesses with bums and you do business with bums, is that you end up in a situation where you have to cover up for the fact that they're bums. You're a successful businessman. You got to be careful about trying to start a business with a bum, with a cretin. So, um, yeah, I only said that shit because somebody told me that. You didn't tell me that. And you know that because you can scroll through all your fucking text messages and also like if you did tell me that if you did tell me that but you didn't tell me that but if you did tell me that what would be the purpose because you told somebody from no jumper and told me why were you telling somebody from no jumper about the fact that yuri owes you all this money and that the business hasn't made any money and that you you blame him for it you told him that because you were hating on yuri so stop acting like this is your best fucking friend you were hating on him privately to somebody else who told me now i apologize again like because i didn't know i didn't want to burn the bridge i didn't want to like let the world know about the you know awful financial situation that yuri is in or anything but again like why were you telling people that no jumper about how yuri don't got no money and how he owes you money because you were low-key hating on him behind the scenes i mean that's just like what other reason would there be who's what is what right does adam have to expose the way that Blasey feels about Yuri to the public like that. This is what I mean. Like, no one is... You can't root for anybody. Everyone's a piece of shit. Everyone's a piece of shit. Doesn't matter who you look at, everyone's a complete piece of shit. Yes, Adam is also, but like I said before, I'm okay with pieces of shit who are consistent with their pieces of shittedness or their piece of shit tendencies. Adam is very consistent. If you watch No Jumper, if you watch Adam 22's content... He's been a piece of shit from minute one. Maybe the only time he hasn't been a piece of shit is early on SoundCloud era. But ever since he's had co-hosts and he's had to share the limelight, he's been a piece of shit consistently. But he's, at least he's been consistent with it. So why would Blasey share such information with someone like this? Have you noticed? Blasey said earlier on, oh, Adam never sold me down the river. Adam never did me dirty. Adam never before this. Why? Because you didn't give him anything worth it to sell you down the river for. The moment you gave him one morsel of information 
that would be, you know, co that would constitute him doing this. He did it instantly, almost instantly. That's proof that he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Because all that good grace, all that time he had together, he didn't even count. The moment you gave him a bit of information that could hurt one of his friends, that could hurt one of his ops, happens to be one of your friends, he took that chance. And then again, the, 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 the rationalization of a piece of shit. Oh, um, why are you acting like he's your best friend? It's like, bro, I can act the way I want to act. This is why are you. <laughs> but Blasey looks so bad. Blasey is the one to blame. Forget what Adam 22 did. Forget him, he's on camera. Forget he's on screen right now. The main person to really shake your head at is Blasey. That's why sometimes you have to be careful. If you're down bad, and it's hard to say to people because like, when you're down bad, like when you can't pay taxes, like you're down bad, bad. But to be fair as well, Yuri's also the kind of person who would probably not pay a bill, but then buy weed, you know? So you can't really give that kind of person, like that person doesn't have a sound mind. Because, you know, if you missed if you miss a couple of payments, that's suddenly six months. That turns into a year and now you've got way more to pay. Just pay the money off and then, you know, that's why some people like me, you have your bills on auto pay. So you don't have any choice but to pay your bills. And then whatever you have left, you, you do with your fun stuff. But, but, money is so weird, isn't it? It's, that's why if you're down bad, be careful about asking friends for money. Be careful because you don't know what your friends like. Because the thing, we all know how our friends are based on what we know them for. It's like finding out how your friend is once they get like a, a hot girlfriend. Or they, no, or finding out what your friends actually like once they fall in love. Finding out what your friends actually like once they get a good job. Finding out what your friends actually like once they have like work friends. We don't know what our friends are like until they do, until they're in certain situations. So sometimes if you're down bad, be careful about who you ask for money because that could irreversibly change the way you look at that person because they could do you like Blasey because it's bad enough you have to ask your friend for money or to tell your friend, hey, can you pay taxes for me? But then he then goes and tells your mortal enemy that you owe him money for taxes. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. You don't even want to know. It's kind of embarrassing because you've been giving all the big talk online about being a fucking famous streamer. You've got this kick deal that's gone now because you're an idiot and you fucking wasted it and you fucking slept on stream. So you got kicked off the fucking kick. I don't know, that pay that, that paper hours thing that they've got on there that's fucking brilliant where they pay you basically per hour a guaranteed salary almost. And he fucked it up because he slept on stream. You're not meant to sleep on stream. He's giving it all the big talk, all the donations, cyber funds, gonna buy a house. And then Adam's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're not buying a house. Blasi told me you don't have money to pay taxes. Everyone's a piece of shit. Yuri, Adam, Blasi, they're all pieces of shit. Everyone. So be careful. My main message, if you're down bad, I know it can be difficult, especially nowadays. Like you legitimately, nowadays people are legitimately having to think like, should I pay my fucking car note or buy some groceries? Should I pay for my fucking electric bill? Or fucking go out. Like people are really having to fucking worry. But I swear to God, you're better off paying your rent, your mortgage, your bills, and living on fucking twenty dollars for the month than asking for your friend for money. Because you never know what they're gonna do with that information. <laughs> or you never know how that's gonna work out, how you're gonna be. Some people are good. Some friends cause me personally, when it comes to friends letting money, I don't have friends anymore, but even when it comes to friends letting money, I'm not gonna lie. If you ask me for money, I don't want it back, to be honest. Because if you have to ask me, I know you're down bad anyway. So I'm not going to, like, chase you to get it back. You know what I mean? I know you need it. You're not coming to me just because you're just, like, <gasps> the first... You know what I mean? You've exhausted all options. And now you're coming to me. So I'm going to give it to you with my grace, with my love. Here, take it. Don't even worry about paying me back. But some people are not like that. Some people, like, use that as a time to, like, oh, so you need something, yeah? What do you need it for? What do you need it for? Imagine that. You're already having to ask someone for money and they're asking you, what do you need it for? Really? You need it for that? So be careful if you're the asker of money because this is what happens. Because, you know, unless we can blame Blasi, but at the genesis of this all, we have to blame Yuri. Yuri's the one that couldn't pay his taxes. 
and then his friend had to pay it, and then he didn't fucking pay off the pay his debt in time. So, you know. <sighs> Be careful, man. Exactly. Big up Assad. Yeah, as Hoodrich Pablo once said, quit all that capping and flexing. I'm sure someone's going to do it. Someone's going to put a compilation together from No Jumper Subreddit. Of all the times Yuri was flexing on the vans, on the viewers. This nigga was flexing like, no one believes you, bro. You don't shower. I'm sorry, but we don't believe you. You don't shower. You don't shower and you're trying to stunt. Even if you've got money, it doesn't look good on you because you don't shower. Why are you trying to like, who cares? Are you flexing? You're an IRL streamer. Why are you flexing? Why? Now look at you. Now look how embarrassed you look. Or oh, I'm going to buy a house. Really? Or is your wife buying a house? As Drake said, isn't it? Is, there, is that a war tour or your girl's tour? Huh? Is that your house or your girl's house? Really? Who's buying the house? Because there's a rumor also on the Reddit that, you know, Riley's parents are helping over the house so she can so they can stay keep an eye on her. That's that's a theory. Big up my no jumper Reddit, guys. The theories on there are very believable. People are saying that, you know, they don't like Yuri too much. They don't want her to go back to LA under any circumstances. So they're going to buy her a house so that they can keep an eye on her. So all this, oh, we're going to buy a house. Pay back Blasey his, one, his 1K, man. Give Blasey back his 1K <laughs> before you get a mortgage. Fucking hell. Anyway. <laughs> Niggas out here want to get a mortgage and they can't pay back their friends. On that's the thing as well, man. Like having money and having friends is awful, isn't it? Imagine being that friend who lends someone money and then they come out to you to the bar on the weekend. They're buying shots, like you're buying shots and you owe me money. Again, I'm not that kind of person to pocket watch anything, but you're buying a girl drinks and you owe me money. <laughs> you you want to pick up and you owe me money. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs>